see where my picture is. Cause today, today I've been singing. <laughs> today I've been singing. Who let the dogs out? Roof, 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 roof. Who let the dogs out? Roof, 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 roof. <laughs> been a good day today and I'm so happy guys I've been happy because I've decided from this morning when I woke up I must have woken up on a good side you know when you wake up on a good side the good side of your bed mm, you're just feeling happy that you're alive yay <laughs> And that's one of the reasons why I'm happy. Cause I'm like, who let the dogs out? Roof, 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 roof. <laughs> the thing is, I've been in quarantine for a month on calculation. Yeah. Reason being, I traveled over to America and it's like two weeks lock up in the house and then back into Jamaica and two weeks lock up in the house comes four weeks. Yeah, one whole month I lock up into the house for practically with this mask and all this paranoia. Yeah. The great thing is that I am here and I am here in Jamaica and it's such a such a place that nobody seems to can find a way how to like my island other than me, it seems. <laughs> But let me not overwhelm myself because I know there are many other people out there who do. Because on today, waking up, yes, my dears, have my normal conversations with other people. You know, sometimes someone wants to show off on you and say they're better or, you know, they're in a better place. And, you know, you are not doing well and you're not doing good. And I am just thankful that I am alive. And just being alive is well enough to be something to be grateful for. And each day when you go about your business and to know that there's somebody else out there who is happy that you're alive too with them, then that's even more of something to be excited about. And today I decided, let me go back on the road. Because yesterday was very aggressive and, you know, not so pleasant and everything because me being back on the road for the first time was uh, a shaky experience for so months being out of it. And today, my gosh, the sun was shining. People was being so kind and helpful. I even lost my keys and I didn't even know I lost my car keys. What I put on my car keys? I drank coconut water from the coconut cart and a man would cut his water. I went and, you know, I was trying to get patties, but the line was so long. So I was like, what do I do? And then they tell me it's lunchtime. You got to eat lunch, not patty. And I'm like, right. Patties for like snack, like little, you know, in between snacks and stuff for me. Some people might have it for bigger meals, but I have it like for snack. Like after I have my fruits and stuff in the morning as my breakfast, then I can have a patty like maybe nine, ten o'clock or something like that. That's how I see a patty or maybe after lunch or in the evening or on the go when you're moving up and down and when i looked the line was so long and they're like chrissy it's lunch time you need to eat cook food real cook food you know and i'm like but this is what i like jamaican style fried chicken and rice and peas and gravy and you know and I am like, I am having a wonderful day today. So as I said, who let the dogs out? Roof, 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 roof. <laughs> so guys, these are the reasons why I am excited. I'm not excited because um, of anything to be ungrateful for. I'm excited because I find there were so many things to be thankful for yeah in this life and when you can find time to be thankful for the small things in life then you must find joy somewhere along the line so i think my nice little morning meditation was was so good for me because when i did that 
it, it alerted my environment, the spirits around me, touched me, it gives you happiness, it gives you joy, it gives you a blessing that I even decided to even think positively and brave it and venture out there into society to interact again with people. And these are the benefits of first thing in the morning, fresh air breathing and stretching and meditation and prayers and communicating with the universe, the love that you have to share with others. And then in, in, remarkably, you will see other people sharing their love with you too, you know, because you were there to give them that. And I am so grateful, guys. I'm having such a lovely day. It's a beautiful Saturday. I mean, even when I went on the road, it was, I left my house in sunshine. When I went on the road and coming back, I see floods of water on rushing down on the road and the road wet. So I said, wait a minute, it was raining. And then by the time I got home, sunshine came out again. It's like the sun was just so happy to see me, to welcome me back home. And I am just so grateful for even the sunshine showing me the love, you know, because I had to come out. Yes, I got a little sprinkle of um, blessing, you know, the dew into the, the mist of the air. That was just all over you. But sweetie pies, I'm feeling great. <laughs> this is my excited feeling. Because I am experiencing something that I have not experienced for a long time. And that is people who actually care about me. Could you imagine? It's hard to find people who care to try and be gentle, to listen to you listen to you when you speak somebody not trying to cow you down or bully you somebody not trying to push you around aggressively so, i mean to be in an environment like that sweethearts i'm in my element i'm in my element today to see how so many people was embracing me with warmth and love and to sit there and to hear out my experiences and for me to share with them and they were like you know, this whole pandemic will soon be over, Chrissy. Don't worry. It's all going to be gone. Those people think they're smart. Yeah, they think they're smart looking into the Bible, picking out little scripture parts that is going to make us scare. You know, I put on the pandemic and they were they're ready. They said, Mark of the Beast coming to get you. And all those little scary stories to scare us. When it's just human playing their games of life survival in monetary gains. You know, and it made me so happy to realize that, you know, all this will soon be gone, guys. Just think positively and stand up to this test of, of times because these are the things they're going to do. They know Christians always have a little mental thing where they, they try to obey the Bible so much and trying to keep up to whatever the scriptures is saying and stuff like that. But could you believe it? Not just the Bible thinks like that. You have real human beings outside watching the Christians and saying, yeah, I'm going to find a way to scam those little buggers. Help them going to church every day and reading the Bible and trying to do this and do this the good way. We're going to find a way to shake them up. And yes, they really did. They shake us up good and proper because to look into the Bible and to pick out certain scriptures out of it that talk about when the coming is near and when, when the world is going to come to an end and there's going to be pandemic and stuff. Why not bring it to life since the people reading it? I can't believe you guys, you know, that these things happen and, you know, it just caught some of us off guard and because it caught us off guard, you know, it made us scared, it made us frightened, and, you know, we turn, we practically turn fool, we don't know what to do with it, but today, I am just saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything, thank you, Lord, thank you for my friends, thank you for these people around me who was able to reassure me that, you know, everything will soon be fine, and this is just another one of the challenges that we have to pass through, because everything in life is a process. This happens and then it passes. Same way how you had chikungunya, swine flu, the, the pneumonia, um, all sorts of flus that came that you're not supposed to catch. Dengue and all that because it is a killer. It's the same way this pandemic is a killer. Yeah, it's a flu that's going to knock you down and kill you if you don't boost up your immune system, stand up strong with it, 
and and ride out the wave healthily by you know masking up until then say yeah you know have a mask up no more then you know but the good thing is that in jamaica we see it going down and it's going down and i am happy to say go down people with the the virus let it go down we don't want it anymore yeah because where there's a will there's a way and we have to put ourselves together to strong up to continue living the life the, the thing is is that when the kids are going out to school they're interacting and it makes them so vulnerable especially when they come home now because i remember even when i had caught the chicken gunya it was some kids of some of my friend that went out to school picked up the virus and came back and because i was there it let off on me into that environment so therefore we're like yeah let's be scared of the kids don't let the kids come too close to us <laughs> if you're sending them out into the midst of such virus into the, the classrooms and stuff it's very scary because it's coming back in on you and then it's gonna kill you so the trick is to make sure the kids by the time them come through the door wash them hands take off them school uniform go back into you know clean clothes and make sure their clothes can be washed if you can't afford to get all those things in order from them, nobody send them out there let them do online classes they'll learn more that way and they will keep abreast of everything same way until you're able to can afford them to can wash them hand properly change off them clothes because they're gonna infect you into the home who is doing that because kids don't really know all those things so it's more than likely that they're going to go up, pick up the virus and comes back into the home and give you the virus. And then you now have to be fighting extra hard to pull yourself through it, especially those who did not get the, the, the vaccine. You understand it's more, more of a stressor because the vaccine is like a booster shot that helps with the flu, just like how the doctors give you vaccines. For the pneumonia and the dengue and all the other flu shots that them have in america it's the same thing only thing jamaica is such a tropical island that the flu don't really plague us that much because we have um sunshine and and a lot of bush medicines and teas and stuff in comparison to the colder countries but still if people are coming here with the virus then we are prone to 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 um leave ourselves vulnerable to picking it up so all i'm saying guys make sure that you pay attention to taking care of yourself boosting up your immune system drink your bush tea your ginger tea your garlic tea your vitamin c's your orange juice your apple juice eat up your fruits and stuff like that your jimbalins and all those things that carries that boost of the vitamin c's and nice little sunshine vitamin d's and Believe me, sweetie pies, you sweat out all them impurities. I used to tell them up to the white rum is good medicine. Jamaican white rum, J. Ray and Nevia, JB, just tip a little of that in your orange juice or some coffee in the morning. Sweetie pies, you see your peck up and perk up so fast. That's something I used to use a lot for the flu because there are certain times of the year, you know, if you can reflect back, there were certain times of the year when the, the flu hit you. The flu hits you like every September when it's back to school time. It either hits the, the kids down or it hits you down. So like you would have to pay attention to September, um, January, and April. Those are the main, main um, start of the new term or semester where, I don't know, something with the, the air and whatever, but the virus of the flu always flies at that time. So it's good to know on the news and to hear people saying at least it's going down now and i'm just feeling so happy i am overwhelmed <laughs> i am elated i don't know how to express it i'm so happy that tears want to come tears want to come tears want to come <laughs> when i cry but i'll just say be thankful guys and be grateful because it could have been worse and it's such a beautiful world and I still love it. I love it so much because it's a beautiful world and the gentleman that saved my, my, myself from worry and panic looking for my car keys today. Thank you, sir. You're what I call one more angel in our country, in our space, in our surrounding. I appreciate you for being around and alert and to come out to look for the lady in the place with 
who might have forgotten her car key and that was so nice of him because boy i was wondering if our people was losing all hope of generosity and kindness within their hearts you know because of how the people them was being you know and it was such a nice experience today to experience them the, the our jamaican people trying to reach out to be kind to each other and and helpful and i wish we could always remember to do that be welcoming to each other and helpful and believe me sweethearts when the world ready to turn around in your favor you wouldn't believe how miraculous it is and what is happening to you so it's good to try and reach out and help people just help people no matter your circumstances if you can help you help sometimes it just even need a voice sometimes it's just a word of mouth to say you know hello or why you're doing that to hurt that person don't do that you know just to speak up on behalf of somebody who might be silent because sometimes some people are you know maybe born silent or maybe they're beaten into silence the amount of hardship that they have over the years as i was saying some people who might not even feel the pain of the the injection or the the virus testing and stuff sometimes it's because their pain threshold is shut down it's shut down because growing up being out there in the world the the hardship of life has dealt them such heavy blows that they have managed to shut down that pain so when they do go out and have to get those vaccines and all that it coming like nothing that coming like nothing compared to the pains that they were already accustomed to getting they're like that and nothing but what about those who are not exposed to any kind of abuse any kind of hardship all their lives because yes you do have jamaicans who have been sheltered and covered and protected all their lives with their family members or friends or um even what would you say now um parents and stuff like that not because some people might not you think oh they don't have parents so they don't feel pain no some people have friends and because they have friends it's their friends that look out for them especially if you are pretty in jamaica the children when you go out to school the children love a pretty pretty friends because they say when you have a pretty friend all the other people you become popular because all the everybody gravitates to a pretty friend so then a pretty friend is normally pampered by the the other peers in the surrounding so when a pretty friend comes out they are not used to any hardship at school they don't never they normally have to fight for anything because people always embrace them and reach out to them to help them in everything that they do so therefore they, their life wouldn't be hard and their pain threshold wouldn't be so hard either because they have grown up into an environment where people have always been looking out for them pampering them helping them with every situation even up to the school work they would help them with so therefore they don't even have to think so hard so sometimes you wonder why is it that some um pretty people are so stupid or done so or whatever it's because them they used to no hardship and them never normally get no hardship and then you know go and throw on all these hardship on them and all kind of responsibility for pop them down well automatically it's going to be like they are incapable because they're just not accustomed to the hardship the most you can do as an individual is understand that people who are in an environment like that and you see they're trying their best to cope and handle certain situations and they're not coping give them a break give them a blind say nobody do it then i will do it you understand it doesn't make sense you force somebody to do something that they are incapable of doing and then because you want to say you can do it too or you want to say they can do it too it's just not fair and these are the things that makes people get a lot of get angry around other people because they're being pressured into doing something that they can't do and you are expecting them to do it so they they become bitter and they become hateful of other people 
And in order to create the love and have the love continue to grow, you have to meet them with love too. You have to meet them with love too. If you know that certain things is going to be hard and you see them trying to do it, but it's not working out, break it down in a little easier format for them. If that is, if you really want them to do it, if you don't want them to do it, because sometimes they're there and they're like, but I wanted to participate to Chrissy because I talk to everybody. I talk to pretty people. I talk to ugly people. I talk to all sorts of people. I have no prejudices. Once you are a human being, an individual belonging to the human race, I'm going to love you. I'm going to talk to you unless you do me something real bad to try hurt me. Then they're going to say, eh, eh, eh. Now bother with me because as I was sharing with even my mom this morning to say, you know, it's, I will talk to people, but if they're hurting me because I am talking to them or they feel they're going to help me, so they must mash me up to help for me to accept that, I'm going to say, it's okay. Nobody help me then. If you have to hurt me to help me, or if you have to try mash me up to help me or for me to talk to you, no bother with it. You understand? And these are my my coping mechanism in coping with the different type of people into our environment it's no need to be forcing people on each other or forcing the people to like each other because the the point is that if somebody does not like you no matter what you do whether good or bad even if it's to help them they're still not going to like you because of whatever it is we don't know sometimes some people don't like somebody because they're even pretty they may consider them prettier than them you know like some women will look at her and say she pretty she prettier than me me not gonna hear her me not like her come come mash her up come come beat her up <laughs> because she prettier than, than them you understand so there are many reasons why people can be devious and when you pick up on vibes like that you understand because as i said as a black girl you know my mom was like looking at my hair this morning she was like oh it's so pretty chrissy so pretty i say yeah i locks it up in locks <laughs> And I wear my locks. She said, it's so pretty. How you get it so pretty? You go to the hairdresser to get them to do it? I said, no, I try to learn how to do it myself and practice because I'm just coming out of quarantine and I'm going to have to make my appointment to the hairdresser. I can't just go on them just like that. I have to make sure I am ready. I have the time and they are ready too. And then tomorrow is, is no movement day. That's Sunday. So Sunday is out. Today, I had to go and do whatever, house shopping and stuff, because, you know, being in quarantine for so long and my son doing his shopping for the house, you know, some little items was missing. So, you know, I have to do my little input, you know, you know everybody have their own likes and whatever they want. So it's, it's time was running out on me and I figured out a way how to comb my hair myself and it's, I'm getting it looking so pretty. Look at it. It's all curly. So I was showing mommy, I'm doing the locks, relax the locks <laughs> and it's looking so pretty. So I like it and it feels nice too. So not because, you know, you know, like locks means that it can not look good when you style up your hair, like how I am doing here. now. it does. I think it looks nice, you know, and I, when I go out, everybody has, has it twisted like this a lot of people have it twisted like this as well so this is a nice style to wear that you know i can appreciate as well so guys it calls for less um combing every minute to have to go into the mirror to have to be fixing your hair and stuff because it gets naughty at least it's 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 not gonna be knotted up so easily it's because it's already um partitioned and it's combed and then twisted to a uh, um safe way to avoid any knots forming so it feels very nice and comfy but as i'm saying i'm just so excited about today this saturday and i have been having such a wonderful day i can feel the angels around me even outside out there in the people in our human being the human race i am seeing i mean these are strangers it's not people that i even know you understand and they were so embracing when they see me come you know uh, up to when i stand up and i drink my coconut water the coconut buds stand up there they say come 
may I give you a straw for drink your water from and and you know he was just so understanding in the way that he was ready to you know make sure that I get my best coconut water for drink and you know giving me my extra cut and all that so all those things I appreciate guys I really do you know maybe I might not say it often enough but I should say it and that's why I said you know I'm gonna do this live show today because most of the time sometimes we're just sharing the sad parts of life you know some people don't don't remember to share when the good things are happening or when you're feeling a good mood or you know so we have to remember and to give thanks and to say thank the people who managed to bring themselves out to be a good person today bring their better selves out you know sometimes even on the road when you're crossing they want to all bounce off the people them off of the pedestrian crossing today they were so calm and tempered they stop and make your pass and cross the road and you know and i'm like my people my people my people you're getting healing and i love it the universe is doing its thing and i really hope we heal as quickly as possible out of this pandemic as well because we are really deserving of it and jamaica has been getting a beaten so long for us so far i mean people hate us so badly as an island that is so blessed with so many resources and because of that a lot of people you know really turn their eyes against us and you know say bad things and try to you know make us look as if we are nobodies and stuff like that and the people down there are villains and vicious and whatever but today we're gonna show me up we're gonna show me up and prove it that we still have good people on our island good loving caring people on our island and overwhelm my heart on a movement to tears is like I wanted to just choke on, <laughs> on the, the, the saying of Jamaica full of bad people and aggressiveness. No, no. Jamaica still does have good people because I experienced it today. And you guys made me so happy, so happy. And I don't know how much more to say. Thank you for being the angels you were today maneuvering through the town with me i just loved it right and it'll make my day even better than when it started out this morning yeah because it was just a good morning so far so have a wonderful rest of saturday guys the day is still looking nice i'm gonna find myself a nice movie to watch and i'm gonna try and enjoy the rest of my day beautifully let's hope tomorrow feels the same way although we're back in quarantine tomorrow <laughs> because you know me when we're ready me want to go out if it was tomorrow you know i would have hit the road and gone out <laughs> gone to interact with my people to find something fun to do because it's tomorrow but i hear we're under quarantine so this is the last of the little fun 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 we can have for today you know so bless up bless up i love you and una take care of yourself and thanks for being the good person yeah persons you were all are today i appreciate with much gratitude